there was still quite a blood stain. I really hoped that Marquez was all right. There'd clearly been a struggle. Marquez must have put up quite a fight. I spotted something in the mess. It was Marquez's family photo. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. The sofa was a real mess, but there was something between the cushions. It was one of the photographs that Nico had taken during the robbery. It showed a section of La Maledicio. Marquez had written on it. Marquez had circled one of the figures in the tower and identified her as Magdalena. That had to mean Mary Magdalene. Marquez had scribbled the word Sans across the photograph. I wonder what he meant. Marquez had circled one of the figures and written Judas. I wondered if he was identifying him as Judas Iscariot. Back in Bible class, Judas was definitely one of the bad guys. The chair had been knocked over in the fight, but there was something glinting underneath. It was Marquez's medallion. Hey, Josh, you find anything? Marquez's medallion, and one of your photos of the robbery. Marquez scribbled all over it. I think he was trying to work something out in the painting. Simeon must have been right. The painting is some kind of map. We should... Hold on, my phone. Hello? Oui? This is Inspector Navet. I am looking for the American, Monsieur Stobart. Are you with him? Yes, he's right here. <gasps> Mon Dieu! Stay calm, madame. Where exactly are you? In my neighbor's apartment. But why do you... Do not worry. I am just moments away. Be very careful. He is armed and highly dangerous. But he seems so charming. Trust me, madame. The leopard never changes his straps. That was Nave. You're in big trouble. Lane saw me with Simeon's body. He set me up for sure. Well, Nave's on his way, and he'll be here any moment. We have to go, Nico, now. Down the back stairs. We'll go through Fleur's shop. Ah, there you are. Right on time. Sorry, Fleur, but we can't stop. Suit yourself. Damn it. Sergeant Moo is outside the door. He's talking to someone. Oh, no, it's Adam. Who? My neighbor. Ah, the pug lover with the trashed apartment. That's the one. Hey, Fleur. Great to see you again. You were expecting us? 30 more seconds and you would have been caught. Charged with the murder of a priest. Whoa. How do you know about that? News travels fast through the ether, Georges. Take this. What do I do with a ball of yarn? Bribe Moo with a nice Aaron sweater? You will find the way. Now, excuse me. I think it's time you planned your escape. 
Oh, hi, Adam. Hi, Nico. They say I can't go up to my apartment. Oh, really? I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why, too. I'm George, by the way. Adam, I live in the apartment next to Nico. I know. I mean, how interesting. Fleur, can I sit here for a while until the police let me back in? By all means. So what now? You take a look around. I'll see if there's a way to get past Moo. Fleur had given me a ball of string. It was Marquez's medallion. Hey there, Adam. Oh, hey, George. What can I do for you? Do you know what's going on with the police? Uh, no, they wouldn't tell me. Good. I, I mean, strange. It's annoying. I'm really tired. It was a long drive. Oh, been anywhere interesting? I've just come back from a coin fair. It was mega. Well, that's fascinating. So, uh, tell me more about this coin fair. It's Europe's biggest. So much to see. I bet. Do you know Nico well? No, not really. Good. I mean, uh, good for you. What are you listening to? My meditation music. Crashing waves and trickling forest streams. What should I do with this yarn? Do you really want me to tell you? Uh, no, that's okay. Adam was listening to an old school portable CD player. Sorry to bust in on you like this, Fleur. Don't worry, Georges. I knew you were coming. You did? Uh, so what else do you know? There's a 36% chance of rain. Fleur, can you help me distract that police officer at the front door? Don't you want to play the game yourself? Game? What game? Oh, I thought you knew. Never mind. Do you know Adam? A little. I see great distress in his near future. Funny, so do I. You've known Nico a while. What flowers does she like? Yellow. No, wait. Yes. Yellow, definitely. Fleur's classics were blaring out into the street. Hey again. Penny for your thoughts. Very good, George. Can I borrow that CD for a second? Sorry, I'm listening to it. Helps me relax. Go ahead, George. Take a few. Thanks. Bloomin' lovely, as Mr. Hobbs would say. Nico? We're trapped. No way forward, no way back. Luckily, Inspector Nave is no Sherlock Holmes. But Sergeant Moo is a problem. At the gallery, I just plied him with coffee. 
His bladder problem did the rest. Ah, that reminds me of my late husband. Pipi Pierre, they called him. I don't suppose you have a coffee machine, Fleur? I'm afraid not. I don't even have a kettle. Let's keep looking. There's always a way. There were boxes stacked along the wall. They were all labeled. Florist's foam. Flower food. Ribbon. Pee-pee. Bouquet labels. Pee-pee? My curiosity was aroused. It was a plastic statue. Careful with that. It's just come in. Special order. What is it? A replica mannequin piece. Fill it with water, pop in some batteries, and watch it go tinkle. Hmm. Very tasteful. A cheap plastic imitation of the mannequin piece from Brussels. It took AA batteries and had a water reservoir. Adam was listening to an old school portable CD player. Hey again, Penny for your thoughts. Very good, George. Can I borrow that CD for a second? Sorry, I'm listening to it. Helps me relax. Fancy a drink? Whiskey? I prefer a cola. Well, I'm not a 7-Eleven, Adam. I didn't think Adam would be interested. If we headed back upstairs, Nave would be sure to catch us. Fleur's classics were blaring out into the street. I gave the trolley a push. Fleur certainly kept her bearings well greased. Jals, what are you doing? I'm not sure yet, but there may be a plan forming. I poured the whiskey into the mannequin. Slancha, wee man, slancha. I hope Moo didn't spot me. Adam, you ever seen a medallion like this? Gosh, no. Looks pretty old, to be honest. What should I do with this yarn? Do you really want me to tell you? Uh, no, that's okay. That wasn't quite right. Well, that didn't work. That so didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, 
they didn't go together. They didn't go together. It didn't work. Never in a month of Sundays. That so didn't work. What do you think of this, Nico? Not much, George. Sorry to bust in on you like this, Fleur. Don't worry, George. I knew you were coming. You did? Uh, so what? There's a 36% chance of... Tell me more about your late husband. Pierre. I used to call him my little P. Because he was so tiny? No, because of his water problem. If he went anywhere near a fountain, whoosh. Whoosh? He was off to the nearest pissoir. Pipi Pierre, his friends called him. Nice friends. Is there anything you can tell me about Adam? He collects coins, he likes bugs. That is all I know. Can't you help me get past the policeman? I already have. I wasn't sure that would be useful. That wouldn't make any sense. I got you some beautiful tulips. That's sweet, George, but I'm not a big fan of yellow flowers. Oh, but Fleur said... Fleur doesn't know everything. Oh, typical. Flowers? You're giving me flowers. Well, someone should have them before they wilt. Hey, maybe I could give them to Nico. Oh! Wow, uh, I just remembered. Uh, I really need them. So, what do you think of this coin? Oh my god, so that's a platinum 12 ruble. It is? I, I mean, uh, yeah, of course it is. You know, it's going to be a rough day, Adam. Why don't you keep the coin? Are you serious? I'll get my pal Stefan to value it. His coin shop's just around the corner. Hey, maybe you could use the money to redecorate your apartment. But it doesn't need redecorating. That's a matter of opinion. The lid wouldn't open while the disc was playing. I stopped the disc. Ocean dreamscapes. Just what I needed with the day I was having. Those might come in handy. Fleur's classics were blaring out into the street. Flirt, do you mind if I change the music? 
Good idea. The sound of lapping waves was affecting Mu, but I was going to need something more to open the floodgates. I slotted the battery into the mannequin. A jaunty series of LEDs lit up around the figure. I placed the statue in the trolley and switched on the waterworks. The mannequin cheerfully sprayed a stream of golden whiskey. Nice. Okay, that's Moo out of the way. Let's go, Nico. Where? To see Bijou. She's been telling me a crock of lies since day one, and right now, I want the truth. So you're telling me that Bijou and Dobbs were having an affair? Yeah, so, she's got some explaining to do. Bijou, I need to talk to you. Can't it wait? I have such a sore head. No, it really can't. Oh, all right. In the daylight, and without the fog of incense, the apartment looked even weirder. George, how delightful to see you. May I present my friend Nico? George and I go way back. Oh, really? Well, don't worry, my dear. I won't steal him, though he is rather a cutie. <clears throat> uh, Bijou, we're here to clear up a few points, if you don't mind. How are you, Bijou? I have the teeniest of headaches, Cherie. It always happens when I sleep in the afternoon. I figured it was the champagne before the nap that had done the damage. I need you to be honest with me, Bijou. Do you know a painter called Hobbes? No, I don't think so. He certainly knows you. So many artists, darling. One can't remember them all. Hobbes appears to know you very well. I saw a sketch of you in his portfolio. Must have been a study for a painting. Are you sure there's nothing else? Quite sure. Did you know that the provenance was fake? For la malediccio? I had no idea. Lane said you had him approve it. Silly fool, he's getting confused again. Would you like these lovely flowers? Please, no. Give them to your lady friend. I am not in the mood for flowers. Bijou wouldn't be interested in that. Bijou wouldn't be interested in that. Why are you showing me that? That's lovely, dear. Why are you showing me that? I believe this is for you. A diamond ring? What has that to do with me? A gift for you. 
from Henri. Henri bought me so many expensive things. He never needed to. Here are your keys back, Bijou. When did I give you those? Oh, I can't think today. Hey, Nico? Yes, George? What do you think we should do now? Ask her about her role in the whole affair. Yes. Hobbs appears to know you very... Must have... Are you sure? Quite sure. I think you knew the... No. Bijou wouldn't be interested. Bijou would. This is a note from Hobbs that I found in your safe. How did you get access to that? How dare you! Bijou, you gave me the keys. You took them back a minute ago. I did? Oh, my head. I don't remember. We didn't do anything else, did we, Georges? The note is addressed to you, so Lane was telling the truth. You were in charge of the paperwork. Oh, so what if I was? That's not illegal? The note from Hobbes makes it quite clear that you knew him rather well. Oh, all right, I did. So, you lied to me. So you had the provenance made. You knew it was fake. I'm not admitting anything. I think Henri asked Madofsky for more money so that he could buy you that ring. And maybe that's the reason he was shot. Nico. No, honey. She's right. Henri always felt he had to fight to keep me. Truth is, I love them both. Wilf and Henri. And now Henri is dead because of me. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I promise I will tell the truth this time. So, you and Hobbes are lovers? We have been ever since 75. Henri never knew about it. They were in a band together back then. So you were unfaithful to Henri right from the start. It was never cheating. I loved them both. So you had Hobbes fake the provenance so that Lane would approve it for the insurance? Wilf passed it to me, and I persuaded Lane to sign it. He never knew it was a fake. Wilf is brilliant at what he does. So what was Madofsky's role in all this? It was all his idea. He'd had an offer on La Melodixio from someone. So Wilf put Madofsky in touch with me and Henri. He wanted to cash in on both the sale and the insurance. He set up the security company to deal with the robbery. I've been such a fool. Henri was never supposed to die. I know you didn't mean for that to happen. Wilf called me yesterday, trying to comfort me. He said he would take care of me, that he had plans. Does that mean he has the painting? Yes. He joked about a secret place. Something about the original being behind my behind. I didn't understand. Thanks, Bijou. You've been very helpful. You know, I had the strangest dream earlier. Henri was here, and we danced together again. Such bliss. That must have been wonderful. Anyway, thanks again for your time, and... <clears throat> Nico, I think it's time we went to London. George, do you have something you need to tell me? No. Can't think of anything right now. Well, let's go, shall we?
So in the end, Hobbs was at the heart of the whole scam. All we have to do now is find the painting. Yeah, then we blow everything open and nail Madovsky. I get that front page story? And I get to clear my name and keep my job. So much for your devil-worshipping Gnostic, Josh. Well, you know me. Nothing I like more than a good conspiracy. Hold on a second. What's the matter? This chain. It's from the gate. So? It's been forced. A break-in? Or maybe a breakout? Hobbs escaping from Lady Piermont? <laughs> maybe. But this doesn't feel right. Hey, Nico, take a look at this. Hmm, do you think someone used it to force the gate? Possibly. But their loss is our gain. You never know when you're going to need a crowbar. I didn't need to turn the radio on. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. No Hobbs. Out cold, probably. I needed to get closer. That was a mean looking seagull. Hey, Nico. This drain pipe looks climbable. Are you mad? Hey, get out of here! Seagull problem, Josh? That's one nasty bird. I needed a better idea. That was never going to work. As I showed the bird the cookie, he looked at me with contempt. I guess he just wasn't into rich tea. That wouldn't make any sense. That would be pointless. I thought of lassoing the seagull with the yarn, but realized that'd be a dumb idea. The seagull was staring me down. The crane was tangled in a mess of cables and bird nest, but it looked like the swing arm could reach the balcony.
A blast on the horn had worked last time. Get lost! Beaten by a seagull again? That is one hell of a sharp beak. That was never going to happen. That wasn't worth trying. I decided to leave the handbrake alone. It was the horn. It was the van radio. Hey, Nico. What, Josh? That is one mean-looking seagull. You don't want to make it angry. I think I could probably get through that door up there. Be careful. It's pretty high. Do me a favor and honk the horn. No problem. I decided to leave the dumpster alone. Get lost! Beaten by a seagull again? That is... Hey, Nico. What, Josh? Nico, could you honk the horn again? Sure. The crane was rusted solid. I'd need more force to free it. That wouldn't work. Hey, Nico. What, Josh? Sorry, Nico. Once more with the horn. Hurry up, Josh. Josh. Wait there, Nico. I'll come and let you in. Something isn't right. You'd better be careful. Come and take a look at this. Mon Dieu, it's a Manet. Oh, no, it's not. 
it's a Hobbes, in the style of Manet, or as the experts prefer to call it, a forged Manet. Hobbes isn't just a restorer, he's a full-blown forger. Oh, that must be... You. Hobbes is good. You look very pretty. <laughs> That's you. Oh my, you look very... Violated. Yes. Is that Lady Piermo? Yes. Is she... Yep. In your... Yeah. Oh, so all along we were just modeling for a forgery. Forgery. Terrific, huh? I can add it to my murder rap. Let's just pretend this never happened, okay? The elevator platform had metal hoops for securing cargo. Thanks, Josh. That was really starting to annoy me. Locked. If Hobbs is home, he's behind this door. A metal strip had been welded to the door frame, specifically to stop anyone levering the door open. I had a feeling the chain was going to be useful. What are you doing? That should do the trick. So what now? Let's see what Hobbs keeps tucked away up here. So this is Hobbs's lair. Not exactly the penthouse suite, is it? Nico. What is it? Hobbs's answer phone, and he's got messages. Let's hear them. You have two messages. Message one. Hobbs, Medovsky here. I'm at the airport. I have to be quick. My flight leaves shortly, and I... It is a shame that you would like to be released from our agreement. It was mutually lucrative. But if that is your wish, I respect it. I shall send my men around to tie up and able will Take care, my friend. Message two. Hello, darling. It's Dorothy. Look, sweetie, but I'm going to have to put our little plans on hold. I've spoken to that insurance man and his girlfriend and told them pretty much everything. I want to be with you, Willie, but Henri's murder, you know. Anyway, I can't possibly leave here until his name is cleared. I feel so guilty, darling. Do you think he knew about us? Do take care with that Russian, my love. Bon voyage, my love. A bientôt. You have no more messages. Wow. So Bijou knew about everything. At least she was faithful to Henri in the end. And what if Madovsky's guy got here first? What if Madovsky's guy's still here? 
I wouldn't like to try and clean anything in this sink. Thankfully, I don't think you'll have to. The sofa was a wreck. Oh, no. What's up? Nico. Oh, no! Holmes! Is he... Dead? Sure looks that way. Poor guy. He's been strangled. You know, maybe Simeon was right. It seems like anyone who gets close to this painting dies. The painting didn't kill him, Georges. This is all about money. Whoever did this was a professional. We need to be careful. Hobbs had been strangled. Dead man's means. No law against taking him. You have no shame, Georges. The mechanism was for opening and closing the skylight. It looked corroded. The skylight was slightly ajar. That would be pointless. Hobbs lay dead on the floor. It was another fabulous painting. Nico, come and take a look at this. Looks like Hobbes has been busy. A map of Catalonia, sketches and notes on the painting. Do you think Hobbes was looking for this tabula veritatis? I think Hobbes was a lot cleverer than he seemed. I wondered what Hobbes was looking for on a map of Catalonia. A photograph of some kind of human pyramid. It's from an article about Castel Catala? It's Catalan, I think. Catalan Castle. Hobbes linked it to his sketch of the human pyramid from the painting. It looks like a sketch of a figure from La Melodexio. I guess Hobbes was mining it for clues. It's the tree from the painting, the, the one with all the people in it. Very creepy. Okay, so this is the human pyramid from the painting. Look, Hobbes has highlighted Castel again. And he connected the two. So this pyramid could be a Castel. Something was familiar about this part of the painting. Marquez was interested in this sketch as well. It scribbled all over it. It must be important. Another Ouroboros. Looks like Hobbes picked the painting apart for clues. There must be something here that shows us where the tablet is. Castel de Ruby. Castel de Galifa. The town of La Seo de Geo. Castel de Poubol. Castel del Mongri. Castel del Sants. I think Sants means saints. That's what Marquez wrote on the photo. So that would make a Castel del Sants a tower of saints. Like in the painting, this must be the clue. I had no reason to go back downstairs. Another Hobbes masterpiece.
Who knows what useful objects this cupboard might hold? Don't get too excited, Georges. Well, looky here. A useful bottle of Diet Cola. You never know when you might need a Diet Cola. That's Hobbs's last bottle. Well, he's not going to need it. Apart from some old pipework, the cupboard was empty. I had no reason to go back downstairs. Hobbs's sandals lay on the floor. Nico? Yes, Josh? What should we do now? It's pretty quiet up here. Let's take a look around. That was almost a great idea. Almost. That painting would look pretty good back in the office. It was another fabulous painting. What do you think of this portrait? It looks familiar. Who is it? I can't put my finger on it. Ooh, this one's a bit dull, don't you think? It's supposed to be still live, George. A beautiful scene. Come on, George. We need to get going. Another Hobbes masterpiece. I'm not a great fan of still life. And a quiet taste, perhaps. Isn't this beautiful? It is, George, but we have things to do. This one's really strange. It's an abstract, George. Of course it is. It was a still life. Another Hobbes masterpiece. It was a beautiful painting. This is a true masterpiece. A fake masterpiece, you mean? Strange. Hey, Nico, come and take a look at this. This painting. There's something familiar about it. It's a woman's buttock, shawls. I know that, but I recognize him. Know what? I think it's Bijou. I don't want to know how you know that, George. But didn't she say the painting was hidden behind her behind? Exactly. So maybe... Damn it, it's screwed into the wall. La Maledizio! We've found it! Amazing! You're sure it's the real thing? Well, I'm no expert, but yeah, it must be. Look! In the middle! It's the same face that Hobbes drew on his sketch, and the same symbol cut into his forehead. He must have uncovered it when he was cleaning the painting. But I wonder why a tree was originally painted over it. Like Simeon said, hidden Gnostic secrets. We've got the painting, Nico, but... There's got to be more to find in here. You're right. Once the police are involved, we won't get another chance. We need to be quick. Whoever killed Hobbs may come back.
Hobbs probably spent most of his time on there. I dropped the mints into the cola and quickly tightened the cap again. Just had to loosen the cap a little and... <laughs> the skylight was slightly ajar. The mechanism for the skylight was old and corroded. Nico? Yes, Josh? Any bright ideas, Nico? I think we should take a look around. Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. It would have made a cool grappling hook, but then I realized the yarn wasn't strong enough to carry my weight. The mechanism for the skylight was old and corroded. Take a look at this. Someone's cut out a painting from this frame in a hurry. The canvas left around the frame looks just like La Maledizio. If we've got the original... Then whoever killed Tobbs has grabbed themselves a forgery. I guess this pretty much ties up the investigation, Georges. Yep. Should be enough to get Nave off my back. In the end, it was all about money. And greed. Madovsky wanted to sell the painting and claim the insurance. And he didn't care how many people he killed along the way. So what now? Hand over everything to the police? I guess so. With what we found out, Langham should have no trouble picking up Madovsky in Spain. I do wonder what that secret map points to. You still think the evil Gnostics are behind it all? I don't know. But I do have questions that haven't been answered. Such as? Well, what do those symbols on the painting mean? What was Marquez really up to? Why was the sign of the Tabula Veritatis hidden under layers of paint? And why is the building on fire? And what did... Did you say fire? We need to get out of here! The mechanism for the skylight was old and corroded. Nope, I needed to try something else. That wouldn't make any sense. Nico? Yes, Josh? Any ideas? I think we start looking for another way out, and fast! I'm looking. Hobbs probably spent most of his time on there.
I needed to try something else. That was never going to happen. That wouldn't have worked. They didn't go together. A paint splattered old dust sheet. Father Simeon had said La Maledicio was a map. It was the strangest map I'd ever seen. The mechanism for the skylight was old and corroded. That wouldn't work. The skylight was slightly ajar. Whoever did this was a professional. We need to be careful. It was a bucket used to catch drips. I needed a better idea. That wasn't worth trying. That would be pointless. Apart from some old pipework, the cupboard was empty. Washing brushes in the sink would have just made them dirtier. That was almost a great idea. Almost. I wasn't going to open that door with a fire on the other side of it. It didn't work. Not a snowball's chance. It didn't work. Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Never in a month of Sundays. What do you think of this, Nico? I think you have an insatiable habit for collecting things, George.
That was never going to happen. That was never going to work. That was almost a great idea. Almost. Whoever had taken the painting was going to be disappointed. That was never going to happen. Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I only had a few matches. Using one now probably wasn't a good idea. Be pointless. It was a pair of old sandals. Another Hobbes masterpiece. Hobbes probably spent most of his time on there. Nope, I needed to try something else. That was never gonna work. I'd already listened to the answer phone. That wouldn't have worked. We'd already worked out what Hobbes was looking for. We'd already worked out what Hobbes was looking for. So, just like Hobbes, Marquez was looking for the Castel de Sants too. Simeon's notes were related to the Tabula Veritatis, but their connection with La Maledixia wasn't clear. Whatever it was, I suspected it was what got him killed. I wondered why somebody would throw away a perfectly good crowbar. Bloomin' lovely, as Mr. Hobbs would say. Fleur had given me a ball of string. A paint-splattered old dust sheet.
It was a castle of saints, Castel de Saints, in Catalonia. It was a tower of tormented souls. They looked like the damned. Nico? Yes, Josh? Any ideas? I think we start looking for another way out, and fast. I'm looking. It didn't work. It would have made a cool grappling hook, but then I realized the yarn wasn't strong enough to carry my weight. Tying the sheet to the crowbar made a halfway decent grappling hook. This should help us get out of here. After you, Nico. Terrific. Out of the fire, into the frying pan. Wait, Josh! Isn't that... Langham? Oh, thank God! Hey! Langham! Langham! Help! We're up here! Quick! Round here! Why didn't he help us? I don't know. Maybe because he started the fire. Because he wanted to kill us. Why? I have no idea. You think he killed Hobbs? Could be. Maybe Simeon too. So who is he? And who does he really work for? I don't know. But I do know one thing. This is not over. Josh, do you hear that? <laughs> London's finest. Now you be nice to the firemen. So what now? Now? We go to Spain, in search of the Castel del Sans and the Tabula Veritatis. Nico and I had thought the adventure was over. Actually, we'd only just started. Nothing was what it seemed. On a trail of corruption and greed, We'd stumbled upon a murderous conspiracy. A conspiracy whose roots lay in mysteries older than the written word. We didn't really have any choice. Catalonia, the foothills of the Pyrenees. After a short flight and a long drive, Nico and I arrived at Castel del Sanz. Back in London, we'd tracked down La Melodexia and had started to unravel its secrets. The painting was a coded map to the location of the Tabula Veritatis, an ancient artifact which Father Simeon had claimed could raise the devil, and for which he and others had already been. We had to find the tabula before the killers. We knew they would stop at nothing. Let's just hope we got here before the bad guys. Hmm. Seems quiet enough. Looks like nobody's been here for years. Must have been a beautiful place. Once upon a time. 
You think the tabula is really going to be here? Somewhere, if we can just decode the painting. Well, it looks deserted. Deserted? I don't think so. Did you see who it was? No, the sun was in my eyes. Looks like somebody's beaten us to it. But who? Medovsky? Langham? Whoever it is, we need to get in there. All right. You make a diversion, I'll try and reach some cover. And be careful. Are you kidding? You're the one who's going to get shot. <laughs> 